Los Angeles, you see Irvine, you see Berkeley, you see LA, you know, you know, you know the bunch that you have. And what's happening here? We pump the gas, they pump poison into the hearts and minds of our future generation. And we are allowing it to happen. And we are allowing it to happen because of our apathy. Apathy is the disease that is killing America. I am holding in my hand the Muslim Brotherhood plan for the destruction of the United States. It is titled the Muslim Brotherhood, uh, an explanatory memorandum for the general strategic goal for the group, the Muslim Brotherhood in North America, written 522-1991. Understanding the role of the Muslim brother in North America. The process of settlement is a civilization jihadist process with all the word means. The Akhwan, which is the Arabic word for brothers, must understand that their work in America is a kind of grand jihad in eliminating and destroying the Western civilization from within and sabotaging its miserable house by their hands and the hands of the believers so that it is eliminated and Allah's religion is made victorious over all other religions. Is this clear? They don't mince words, do they? So we not only have the fox watching the hen house, we have the fox inside the White House dictating policy in the ear of the president. We know that ISIS and Al-Qaeda and all the others want to do attack the United States and, and, and do damage to the United States. As a matter of fact, we in the United States has a, have 150 terrorist organizations right now operating in America Five of them are operating right here in the District of Columbia. And these are the ones we know about. It is mind-boggling. And this is why we are seeing such a rise in anti-Semitism and anti-Americanism on American college campuses. You, in California especially, you have seen what's happening in your universities. It is a crime what's happening in American universities. Speakers like me, in order for me to go speak at any university USA, I have to have a full staff of bodyguards. Last university I spoke at was the University of Detroit at Ann Arbor, at Michigan at Ann Arbor. I had to have eight uh, people from the Department of Homeland Security, the FBI, and the CIA who were physically in the room, dressed like a SWAT team, ready to take people on with their big automatic weapons. We had a K-9 unit in the room an hour prior to my lecture Two police officers standing, one right next to the podium on each side, and a bodyguard standing waiting for me on each entrance to the stage, waiting to grab me in case something happens. Just for me to be able to speak and give a lecture on an American college campus. Here I am, a patriotic American, speaking about America and why we need to protect America from a threat against America. And a speaker on an American college campus in the 21st century has to have that much security to exercise her freedom of speech? Our founding fathers are turning in their graves.